The reason I made a change to a plant-based diet, first of all, I didn't just wake up one morning and become a raw food vegan. It has been a journey for me. But it started because all the women in my family died overweight and very young. People like to look at me and go, oh, it's her gene pool that I'm not aging at the rate other people are. Or, oh, she's a woman of color, they don't age at the same rate. But the reality is, my mom died at 48, my grandmother died at 50, and my great-grandmother died at 60. So at 65, I broke the chain. And it was through my plant-based diet and cleansing and detoxing. I have been on a plant-based diet for 43 years now, going into my 44th year. No meat, no fish, no chicken, no dairy, um, just lots of good fruits, veggies, and grains. It's through the way I eat, through the way I pray, and through the way what I found is joyful movement in my life. Uh, ballet and yoga and Pilates are my thing. Because you know what I believe? I believe it's great to lift weights, it's great to uh, run, but if you think about it, all these exercises are taking you back to the earth, which is what gravity is doing anyway. So I like to do things going away from gravity, which is pulling and stretching myself out. So I think a lot has to do with the form and the choice that I've made uh, for working out because you meet a lot of women 65 years old and they don't have the posture you know because you start to go this way so um, I think a lot not a lot it all has to do with the choices that I make on a daily basis the ingredients for longevity and health is of course a plant-based diet and good thinking uh, well I kind of outlined it before spirituality emotional health and physical health but I do believe because you see it's Cooked foods, animal foods are extremely acidic to the body. The acid is what's literally eating the body up inside out. So finding that pH balance of acid alkaline, getting in raw living foods, because God created us as living beings. We have living cells and you need living food to sustain it. Like begets like, dead food, you look and feel dead, live food and you look and feel alive. Yes, it would be wonderful if everybody was 100%, but even going 70-30 or 80-20, but most people are 10% raw and maybe 90% cooked. So it's, I think, finding that basis of getting back to living raw foods for a living body, your spiritual practice, whatever it may be, and some form of joyful movement. What's my definition of sexy? No, just joking. <laughs> Because I have to say, I, I, I made a little joke about myself, but you know, I, I tell people I do this for health, but I do it for vanity as much as health because the outside is a, is a visual of what's going on internally. You know, even every line on our face is telling us what's going on. You know, the lines that women get across their forehead and men, that successive mucus in the digestive tract, the lines that we get under our eyes, those are your adrenals and your kidneys. The line. So visually finding your own perfection away from toxicity. I think that's a, a beautiful form of being sexy, being attractive, being part of nature. I just like to remind people that if you don't take care of this, the most magnificent machine you'll ever be given, where are you going to live? <laughs>